You're watching Sports Beat. All right, here we go, Cougar fans. Our first look at the new offensive coordinator, Jeff Grimes' offense, and Tanner Mangum, a quarterback in that offense. BYU opening up tonight on the road. Of course, it's always a late kickoff. Arizona. First play for the Cougars. First pass of the season for Tanner Mangum. And he completes it to Squally Canada. But BYU had to punt. Next possession for Arizona. Third down, Corbin Kafusi. Tracks down Khalil Tate, forcing the Wildcats to punt. Second quarter, Cougars on the move now. Mangum to Aleva Hifo. And Hifo finishes off a 30-yard gain down to the Arizona 7. A couple of plays later, bring in Squally Canada. Touchdown BYU, Cougs up 7-0. However, right now, under a minute to play, Arizona just scored to take a 10-7 lead. In Cedar City, Southern Utah hosting North Alabama. Second quarter, T-Berg down 10-3. Chris Helbig to Tyrett Lidge. Nice catch, 22 yards, we're tied at 10. And in the final minute of the first half, Helbig, he's going to take it himself, Southern Utah, with a three-point lead at the half. However, right uh, with 12 seconds left in the game, North Alabama scored to beat Southern Utah by four. Washington, Auburn, six versus nine. Opening drive, Auburn, Jarrett Stidham throws it high to the corner of the end zone. Sal Canella going up high. He's 6'5", a former basketball star in high school. And look how high he gets. All right, Auburn led 15 to six. Final seconds of the first half. Washington, Jake Browning to Quinton Pounds. And now that catch was pretty special too, the old one-hander. Auburn led 15, 13 at the half. Huskies get a field goal to take a one-point lead until six minutes left in the third. Jartavius Whitlow, 10-yard touchdown. That's it, Auburn hangs on for the five-point win over Washington. Noah Redmeyer for fifth-ranked Ohio State, first of a three-game suspension. Ryan Day taking over against Oregon State. Buckeyes in a blowout, as expected. Mike Weber untouched. Maybe we should call him Weber since everybody outside of Utah calls Weber Weber. 28-7, uh, then play was suspended because of rain and lightning. Everybody had to be cleared out of the stadium except for those kids. And when it cleared, Buckeyes continuing to pour it on. Dwayne Haskins to Terry McLaurin. He zigzags his way in for the 75-yarder. Ohio State put up 77 in the win. Maryland number 20 at number 23, Texas. Maryland honoring their offensive lineman, Jordan McNair, who died of a heat stroke during a workout, which led to the Terps head coach being suspended. In the third, Longhorns Kyle Porter, two yards to give Texas its first lead, 24-22. But in the fourth, Tayon Fleet Davis. He'll take it in from 17 yards out. Maryland gets an emotional upset win over Texas, 31-29. Washington State in Laramie with the Wyoming Cowboys. Cougars down at the half, but then Gardner Minshew getting a starting QB job over former Lehigh Pioneer Cam Cooper finds Aesop Winston for the touchdown. Washington State outscores the Cowboys 28-3 in the second half, and they get the win. 15th-ranked USC hosting UNLV. Rebels getting it done against the Trojans in the first quarter and a half. Lexington Thomas, 150 yards rushing, fakes the reverse. He scoots down the sidelines for a 71-yard touchdown. But USC would get it together in the second half. Freshman JT Daniels to his high school teammate, Amon um, Ross St. Brown, 43-yarder. USC extends its home winning streak to 17 games with the win. All right, Utes at Northern Illinois on Saturday. Today, the Huskies at Iowa. Iowa's Torin Young takes it in for the 24-0 lead. Northern Illinois' only score coming with two minutes left in this game. Marcus Childers to Jawan Wesley, Northern Illinois, losing 35-7. BYU hosts Cal next week. Today, Bears at home with North Carolina. Bears Cameron Good picks it off, returns at 38 yards, and Cal would build a 24-3 lead. Then they would hold on for the seven-point win. Hey, 11 years ago today, 1AA Appalachian State shocked the college football world with this. Block the Michigan field goal as time expires, and they get the... Biggest upset in the history of upsets over Michigan. All right, now let's fast forward to this afternoon. Appalachian State tied at 38 with Penn State in overtime. Here's Penn State, Miles Sanders. He goes in for the touchdown. So now Appalachian State needs to find the end zone to keep playing. There it isn't. Picked off. Penn State survives the second biggest upset of all upsets in the history of upsets. 
Uh, Boise State ranked number 22 at Troy. Broncos got an explosive offense again. Back is Brett Rippon. He finds C.T. Thomas, 53 yards. Boise State up seven. Then it would turn into a blowout Rippon, this time going up top. Sean Modset hauls it in, 54-yarder. Rippon, 305 yards passing. Broncos win at 56-20. All right, Real Salt Lake back in Rio Tinto Stadium tonight. The L.A. Galaxy in town, and that means Zlatan is on the pitch. Uh, he beat RSL for two goals the last time these two played. He's considered the GOAT of MLS. But he was a non-factor tonight. Down one nothing in the 14th minute. Albert Ruznak turns and fires it into the net. We're tied at one. Later in the half, a duck flies down on the pitch. He had to spend about three minutes chasing around. They finally <laughs> got our fine-feathered friend uh, out of the stadium. Final seconds of the first half. RSL on the move. Again, DeMar Krylock. Taps it to himself, then a header into the net. RSL up 2-1 at the half. Uh, second half, don't blink, kids. You'll miss an RSL goal. 61st minute, Crylock again, 4-1 RSL. 68 minute, Ruznak again, 5-2 RSL. Three minutes later, Crylock again for the hat trick. Three into the net for DeMario Crylock. RSL with a huge win, 6-2 to two to pick up three points. And you know when a duck Whoa. is in your way? <laughs> Not a bad night. The duck looked pretty good out there. He had some yeah. good moves. All right, Cougars uh, down 10-7. Okay, so we'll see how it ends. We'll be back.